What is up, Karatex? Welcome back to the Criminal Enterprises DLC. So in this video, we'll be customizing our fourth drip feed vehicle of this DLC. So I'm recording this on August 25th, 2022, and supposedly we were supposed to get the Camaro today, but that didn't happen, sadly. So we instead got the, go here to Benny's, go to stock. We got the Brioso 300 wide body, which I don't think anybody really wanted this soon, but I guess it is what it is. Um, 457,000 base price uh, if you have the trade price and then like 600,000 if you don't have the trade price then you got to add in the conversion cost to turn it into a wide body which is about 500,000 so you're easily a million dollars into this car which is pretty insane for a compact vehicle but um, it is a Benny's compact vehicle so I guess there's that so I already went ahead and bought the base Brioso now the Benny's version of this car let's go back there really quick so the Benny's wide body variant is based on the 1970 Fiat Abarth TCR 1000 Berlina Corsa so very long name there but it's basically a wide body Fiat <laughs> Abarth which is pretty insane like a race car a variant um, so again, already bought in here. Let's go ahead and check out the customization. We're currently in the office garage, so we do get Benny's customization in that shop. What she need then? She says compacts. What can I help Upgrade. You can see wide body, five hundred eighty-five thousand. So yeah, pretty expensive. It's actually just under six hundred thousand. So yeah you're definitely over a million dollars on this car even if you have the trade price so that's that's something to think about for sure but all right, let's buy it there and there you go looks pretty decent now let's hope we have crazy customization right so you got remove reflectors I believe that was from the and then like trim and stuff that you can remove yeah I believe this was available on the uh, the regular Brioso 300 so there's that and funny enough, these are not called like custom anymore. Like for example, the Spectre was called Spectre Custom or the Benny's version. This one's called Wide Body instead. And there's also some other vehicles coming on uh, later in the DLC that are also called Wide Body. So um, I don't even know what to do here. I mean, I guess it is race car, right? I guess that's what we have to kind of go for. You can also go for like a street build if you want, but I guess we'll just remove all the trim since it's an insane like custom build there. Looking good brakes front bumpers so remove the front okay basic classic retro basic rally lights racing splitter these are like reused parts okay these are new the touring bumper and the secondary touring and then the carbon which is kind of similar to the real one and that's really the only bumper that connects to the wide body um but it just looks i'm just not a fan of the way it looks it just looks so strange I, I don't like this bumper um the stock one looks pretty good you know i do kind of like the splitter the splitter looks really funny but it doesn't go all the way across so that does affect it a bit for me um i don't know i guess i'll just go with a splitter i <laughs> I don't know. I definitely don't like this one. Even though it's like the real car, I just don't like the way it looks. So we'll go with the racing splitter. Rear bumpers. You can remove it. Basic, classic, retro carbon. Oh, carbon diffuser. I might put that one. Vented and then drilled. All right, we'll put the carbon diffuser. Engine block. Six cylinder upgrade. That's sick. Front. Wait, what? What's this? What? Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a sec. Can I, why won't it let me see the back? Does it remove the one in the back or does it keep both? What is going on here? What? What? I'm so confused. Front footed. I mean, I hope it, it, it right? It should remove the other one and put the, the, the back one so. No, I see the smoke. I see the smoke in the back. It gives you two engines. What the heck? Rockstar. What? <laughs> what the heck is going on? An engine in the back, an engine in the front. Okay, primary valve. What the heck is going on? Did they do that on purpose? Did they realize that was going to be a possible issue? I mean, uh, they had to have, right? I think. Okay, well, I'm going to install this upgrade just so we can check that, right? So we can check to make sure that's the case. Um, I guess we'll, we'll do carbon here, I guess. Why not? Engine tunes. Exhaust. It's one exhaust. Chrome. 
twin chrome. Whatever what is this? Uh, rally? And okay, and then blast. But yeah, we're not doing that. Um, hmm. I guess we'll do the twin chrome, I guess. I don't even know. Twin chrome it is. Fenders, secondary, car Ooh, the carbon looks pretty sick. Kind of reminds me of like the the Brioso um, RA at the racing arches. What's the difference? Ooh, it gives you a nice finish at the bottom. I do kind of like that. Secondary, carbon version of that. Touring arches. Is that like, it's like vented in the front? You can kind of see the tire? I don't really like that. Um, okay, I guess we'll go with the racing arches and primary. Okay. Grill, you have racing grill. Grill remove, that looks awful. That looks really just. Oh god, no. Touring vents, that looks pretty good. Tuner, ooh. <laughs> the tuner grill. What is that smile on the. <laughs> Like the most awkward smile. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh no. I, I, that's that's so weird looking. I just don't like that. No. Um. Okay. I guess we'll go with the touring vents. I, I see cars different ways, um, and this just just <laughs> just looks awful to me. All right. Touring vents. Headlight covers. Headlight tapes. And if you want to get that, and you can do green, yellow headlight glass. The angry okay that I, that I do kind of like that's pretty cool. This is kind of common. Uh, people do with some like minis and stuff like that. Th that's pretty cool. You know I I, <laughs> I might do that. Why not? That, that's that's pretty funny. Hood, a hood rack, uh, luggage, popped hood with the vents and stuff. I with the vanity what like a. Okay, colored plastic. Colored plastic. Let's see the. Okay, drilled. What a mess those options. I don't like any of those. Um. Yeah, no. Uh, this one though, <clears throat> I guess it's kind of like a race car look, but hmm, kind of removes our plate. I think I might. Uh, Tough choice. I think I might keep this one stock, even though this is like really, you know, we'll just do this because it's more like race car look for the rest of the build we're going with, so might as well. Interior dash, street interior, and why does it change our wipers? Why does that, why does that matter? What the heck? Why, <laughs> why do our wipers change? That's so weird. So it removes the back seat, like a race spec in there, and this is even more semi-stripped interior. Um, then you got even more there with the race dash and flocked and then carbon. Okay. I feel like we can go somewhere in between. I think I'll do a street interior, even though I don't know why all these have just such strangely placed wipers. Maybe I'm missing something, but, um, I guess we'll do with, I guess we'll go with the, yeah, it's a little, it's a little overkill there. I'll go with the street interior doors. I'm not a fan of these door panel cards. I, I do want to leave our door panel there. Seats. Okay, that's pretty cool. You can put sports seats in this. That's that's pretty awesome. Okay, you got sports seats, painted, which should be like the back part. Yep. A carbon ballistic fiber version of that. Uh, and then you got another some other seats here. The racing harnesses, different colors and all that. No rush at all. Okay. I, I do kind of like the sports seats. Maybe we can do something with the why is that why is the stitching on this particular one messed up Whoa, look at that that one <laughs> that one's messed up right there it's broken that's funny uh <laughs> i guess we'll go i don't know if we should do one with a racing harness or just a normal sports seat i guess we'll go with a sports seat with the maybe the carbon backing yeah we'll do that steering wheels okay you got all the different bennies common steering wheels here if you want to put like a more race car looking steering wheel I guess um, I'll probably go with the simplest one probably the apex basic because all these other ones I don't know about them uh, yeah we'll just do the apex basic oh, there um, light color if you want to change that I'll just leave that the way it is for now 
lights, headlights, I'll leave them yellow. Should we leave them yellow? I mean, this is a custom build, right? So it's like a modern, it's like our own kind of modern take on it. Not necessarily like a, a build from that era. So we we could do the, the Xenons, a little custom build there. Liveries, black stripes, white, grotty. I do like the grotty stripe, that's nice. Shopping list, aero gasoline, all the different ones here. Grotty racing, race car. Tires. Let's keep on going here. And some of these are based on the the real one. Whatever you the flames. Okay. Um, definitely the Brioso one for that. Well, sorry, the Grotty one for me. The Grotty stripes. Uh, mirrors. You got bullets. Retro. Vintage. Racing. Carbon racing. And what the heck is that? Touring mirrors. That's weird. Okay, I guess I'll go with the carbon racing mirrors. Plates. Do a black background for our invisible plate that's not there because we changed our bumper, so I might as well just ignore that. <laughs> we have no plate on this car now. Um, respray. So for this, um, I, mean, I do like this car in yellow. I don't know why. I just I just think it looks really cool in yellow. But we, we could go for something a bit more like um, different, if you want to say that. So... We could do a metallic, a uh, dark steel, maybe with, let's go here to pearlescent, maybe like with an ice white pearl, and then we can do, um, our secondary is the roof, so let's just make that match really quick, that'd be dark steel, and then the trim color, I think this will look great in red, if I can get to red, red, see, oh that's a nice, yeah that's a nice color contrast there. Um, probably the standard red. I think the regular one's a little too bright, so we'll do the regular red there. Trim color. Wait, no. Trim color. Oh, we already did that. Sorry, crew emblem goes on the doors. Um, roll cage. Okay, now we got the roll cages. So you got the half cage. Dash dodger cage. Padded. Okay. Full. Then full padded. I guess we'll do the street half cage there. Um, roof. You have a full painted roof instead of the vinyl top there. Um, you got top down. That's pretty cool. But this is a uh, full primary roof. Top down. Oh, it's this section. I see. Carbon. What the heck? What the? Full top. Why? <laughs> oh, yes. Some vents back there. That's uh racing scoops and giant racing yeah we're not doing that uh, um <laughs> I don't know about this build man this is, a, this is a little interesting to say the least I guess I'll do a full primary roof or maybe just uh, I don't even know at this point yeah full primary roof why not sun strips oh my gosh what's the visibility and then you got different colored visors and okay what also, vis look at the visibility out of this thing with the sun strip. <laughs> it's awful. It's so bad. Uh, spoiler upgrade. Oh boy, endurance wing. Oh my. What the heck is that? What? Little wings on the. On the what the heck on the wide body? That makes no sense. That is ridiculous. See, I, I actually don't mind the track wing too much, but why? Why add it? To the flares in the back that makes no sense to me race wing and streets what the heck what the heck what what what, what is that look at that no oh my oh my goodness wow i literally don't like any of these spoilers except for the track wing and then the track wing adds those extra spoilers, little tiny spoilers on the flares, which I don't like at all. This is annoying. <laughs> this is so annoying. If this was too big, oh, uh, I guess I might have to. I got. I have to go with the endurance wing, I guess, because I don't like any of the other ones. And this one just looks stupid. So, wow. Okay, so I guess we'll go carbon endurance wing. Gosh, sigh. Suspension. Ah, uh, we'll slam it. Why not? Transmission. 
trunk. I don't, wait a minute. So secondary carbon vented trunk has got some airflow in your trunk, even though we did put an engine swap up here, so I guess it makes sense. Racing carbon performance. Okay. Uh, I guess the twin vented trunk there. Turbo, turbo wheels. Um, the track category, possibly. Ooh, these look really good on here. The rally throwbacks. Even the split stars, those look really good too. Ooh, the tropos look nice. These look really good. All of these look good on this car. What about like a nice concave wheel since we have a wide body, right? How does a. Ooh, Cosmo Mark IIs. Yes, please. Not and enough. black. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Deep dish to accent our wide body. Perfect. Uh, windows. Um, I guess we can just black them out. Why not? And that's all the options. Uh, it's it's okay, I guess. Let's, ex let's exit to ground and drive it. Uh, this is... It's okay. I mean, it's got a lot of options, that's for sure. A lot of them are reused from the... Standard Brioso 300 though. It looks pretty cool with the wide body. I won't lie, but that's, it's it's pretty pricey once you fully max it out and everything. And some of the options I really don't. Oh, the sun visors are red. That's funny. Some of the options I really don't like. But anyways, floor it. I believe it's rear wheel drive still. Doesn't really feel all that fast so far. Definitely faster than the regular one, that's for sure. But this is not gonna be on like BF Club status, that's for sure. The handling, oh my god. Feels like. How do I explain this? What? That's that's how you explain it. That right there. That's. <laughs> Somebody's gonna be like, you don't know how to drive. All I did was turn left. Very, very easy, and the car just spun out. What the heck? Look at this! What is that? Just I'm doing, it's doing that. I'm not touching the handbrake. It's doing that by itself. Right turn. Oh my! It's a drift machine, I guess. I don't know. Well, this thing handles like poo. Doesn't really feel all that fast. So go. First person here. Yeah, well, I don't really like the way it drives. Maybe if you want a drift car, I guess, but... This thing is weird. I don't know... don't know how I feel about it. Is this one wheelie? Probably not. Yeah, no. Yeah, I mean, I, I know it's only muscle cars that wheelie, but there's the exception of the BF Weevil, so I, I did have to test that. Anyways, let's, um... let's go ahead and, uh... See if we have two engines in this, according to our customization. There's one there, and... Oh, they put fans back there. Ooh, they were smart about that. Maybe that's part of our, our street interior, possibly? Or, or maybe it's part of one of the upgrades, I don't know, but... Huh. I guess... I... 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 Hmm. I don't know. I might put the other engine model back. Of the V6 swap, that one was kind of cool. This one up front, I don't know. It does look cool though, I won't lie. But it doesn't really fit the design of the car. <laughs> I think the red interior came out good with the sports seats. I mean, I guess this is kind of like a drift slash street slash track build something. Definitely a modern take, right? That's for sure. But, um, yeah, honestly, I, I don't think this is one you should consider. I mean... I don't, I don't really find it all that exciting. I mean, we, we, this car already came out a while ago, and all I did was add a wide body, some more liveries, a few options here and there. I mean, it's not really anything like mind blowing or crazy, at least to me. And it drives doesn't drive that great, at least to me either. I don't, I don't like the way it drives, unless you want a drift car. But it's not this crazy grippy monster track weapon that you're like, oh my god, I need to own this. No. <laughs> So, personally, I would skip out on this one, guys. Nothing really all that special, at least to me. Um, hopefully, we get the Camaro next week, the Vigero ZX. Let's see what happens. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.